So previously, we talked about embryonic stem cells. The second type of stem cells is adult stem cells, and they are present in small numbers in various tissues inside us. Adult stem cells are pretty much descendants of embryonic stem cells, and they are found in different tissues of the developed adult organism. So how do they differ from embryonic stem cells? The most important difference is that unlike embryonic stem cells, which are pluripotent, adult stem cells are multipotent. This means that such cells are only able to develop into a limited and related range of cell types and tissues within the organism. For example, hemopoietic stem cells, which are pretty much blood-forming stem cells that are usually found in the bone marrow, are only able to give rise to a range of blood cells, such as red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. They can't differentiate into other sorts of cells. Adult stem cells are found in small numbers, usually about 1 in every 10,000 to 15,000 cells in various tissues such as the retina, the liver, the intestine, the brain, the blood, the bone marrow, and the skin. The main purpose for adult stem cells is to replace cells that are lost due to tissue damage or injury. So this is a pictorial guide of the overall stem cell differentiation process. Note that curvy circular arrows refer to a stem cell that is able to self-renew. And so basically, we start off with our embryonic stem cells, which are able to both self-renew and differentiate into all sorts of specialized cells. Then we have our adult stem cells, which are also able to self-renew and differentiate, but only give rise to a limited range of progenitor cells. Notice that there are progenitor cells in the intermediate process. Progenitor, progenitor, cells, yeah, progenitor cells are often confused with stem cells and but unlike stem cells, they are able to both differentiate and self-renew. Progenitor cells are only able to differentiate. They are unable to self-renew. In scientific terms, progenitor cells are just considered to be more differentiated than adult stem cells. So at this checkpoint, you should be able to talk about the properties of adult stem cells and how they differ from embryonic stem cells.